Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday. The video is going to be a little bit different than one of my normal videos talking about the fish room. It's kind of going to be a rant, but not really a rant, I hope. I've already done the rant thing, and while it was fun, uh, we don't want to be ranting too much. So, here's what I'm thinking thinking that when people ask for help let's just use Facebook as an example when people ask for help on a Facebook group they usually don't know what they don't know they don't know obviously they don't know what's wrong but they don't even know what they need to know to get help as an example you might see a question I woke up this morning and all my fish were dead why a thousand different reasons right if you're experienced, first of all, most times that kind of stuff doesn't happen. But if you're experienced, you know that something catastrophic had to happen overnight for every fish to die. <coughs> Assuming every fish was healthy to begin with before you went to bed. An experienced fish keeper would know more than likely if that was the case, whereas a newbie wouldn't. So, this is going to be geared kind of towards newbies, but something I want everyone to, that watches this to think about. So, let's, let's get a scenario going. Because, you know, this is probably happening right now, right? It's a couple days after Christmas. Little Johnny got a 10-gallon a uh, uh, kit for Christmas. So, he's got the stand, he's got the tank, he's got the light, the filter, the heater. <clears throat> he opens it Christmas morning. Santa brought him this kit. He's excited. Can we get fish? Can we get fish? Dad says, well, you know, it's Christmas. Everything is closed. Tomorrow we'll go get fish. Sounds logical, right? So, you know, Christmas Day, Dad and little Johnny set up the tank. Little Johnny's looking online at different fish and different fish tanks and decides what well, kind of what kind of fish he wants. And, you know, he got a gift card from Grandma, so, or some cash from Grandma, so they go down to the local fish store. Maybe it's a big box store, who knows? And he decides he wants a couple of, um, tiger barbs because they look like tigers they're cool as heck he wants a bala shark because pff, who doesn't want a shark and then he decides on guppies because they're pretty colorful and they're pretty cool and he decides on some gravel and he gets a cool little skull decoration and he has enough money left over to buy a little air pump so the skull decoration goes rawr, rawr, rawr. please remember that so he dad says to the the sales associate or the kid working in the store or whomever is it okay to 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 put all this stuff in the fish tank he doesn't really know but he kind of remembers hearing something about you know you can't add too many fish to the tank or something she sells him some magic elixir that psh, you put it right in the tank, boom, you're good. They go home, they fill the tank with water, they put the magic stuff in, they throw all the fish in, Johnny got some food, they feed the fish, everybody's happy, right? He's watching the fish all day. Yeah, the tiger barbs are, you know, kind of messing with the guppies, but he's like, that. who cares? That, that's awesome, tigers. Little Johnny goes to bed, Wakes up the next morning, dead guppy. <laughs> dead guppy. What happened? Johnny and Dad think, oh, maybe, you know, maybe he didn't like his new tank. Dad flushes the guppy, doesn't think much of it. Next day, two dead guppies. And one of the guppies looks like its fins got all torn up. Dad doesn't know what to do, so he calls the fish store. They say, bring a sample of your water down and the dead fish. Bring it down, they sample the water. Oh, you have high ammonia. Here's another chemical. 
that's that. They they give them two new fish. Or three new fish, I guess. He then they go home, they add the fish, they add the chemical. Next day, five fish dead. Not the Baylor shark. Oh, they also got a pleco, because dad heard you need something to clean up. So they got a pleco and a quarry. One quarry. So after a couple days of this happening, finally dad decides, let me Google it. Why do my fish keep dying? And all kinds of things pop up. But one thing he sees in a lot of these, these threads are the nitrogen cycle. He doesn't really know what it is, so he starts researching it. And he comes to find out that uh, they did it all wrong. So he posts on a Facebook group that he found. Let's just say he found a good one, like Tank Talk, John Hudson's group. It's a pretty good group. I like it a lot. I try to help there a lot. And uh, he says, he explains his story. We just got a new fish tank. We just set it up. All our fish keep dying. What do I do? So now you or me or somebody experienced is looking at Tank Talk, waiting for the next live stream, and you come across this post. And there are three scenarios now from this post. One, you think, man, that sucks, and you keep scrolling. Or you think, all kinds of nasty a-hole things, but you keep scrolling. Or you think those nasty a-hole things and you don't keep scrolling, you start typing. <laughs> or you do the decent thing. Hey, sorry for your loss. Let me see if I can help you. We all were new. And you start asking questions. And here's my point. What questions do you ask? But more importantly, as a newbie, what information can you give to help people help you? Right, because that's what it's about. A newbie types a question into a, uh, a Facebook group and they want help. They don't want to be belittled. They don't want people to tell them their stock is crazy or this, that, and the other. So, if you're new and you need help, there's some information that we need. We're gonna need to know, at a bare minimum, the tank size in gallons. We're gonna need to know probably the pH of the water the ammonia level, the nitrite level, and the nitrate level. Also, it would help to know how long the tank's been set up. Do you know about the nitrogen cycle, which may be referred to as just has the tank cycled? And the tank mates. And in this case, the tank mates are important because two tiger barbs in a 10 gallon tank um, aren't good because they can be little assholes. Sorry for the language. Um, a common pleco grows to be like two feet long, so obviously that's not going to work. But another thing is the quarry, and I've seen this a lot. People buy one or two quarries because they're little, they help clean up, blah, 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 but they don't really like to be in groups of two. They like six or more. Ten is really best, but, you know, they act much better in groups of six or more. And as a newbie, you, you don't know this. So let's go back to our scenario. Now you type, your question is, I just set up a new tank. I didn't know about the nitrogen cycle. I don't have a way to test my water parameters. Here's my stocking list. What should I do? I would tell you either buy a method of testing your water parameters and post them here, or bring your water to a local fish store or Petco or PetSmart and have them test your water for free. Now, when I first started, that's what I did. I brought my water to the local fish store. They tested it and told me what I needed to do. After like three times of driving to the local fish store after a problem, I bought a method of testing my water. And I bought some test strip. I don't think it was Tetra, but I, it was some cheap test strip. And this is, I mean, we're talking 10, 10 ish or more years ago. I didn't know any better. You know, but then as I got into it, I got the API master kit, blah, blah, blah. Now I just use the Tetra test strips because with 40 tanks-ish, 40-ish tanks, it's quicker. But 
and it's pretty accurate, so. Let's go back to our scenario. Little Johnny's pretty sad. So, Little Johnny and Dad go back to the fish store and tell the person, hey, why did you sell me all this stuff? There's no answer for it. In most cases, most fish stores, they're there to sell fish. And if they sell you fish that causes problems, you're going to go back. They're going to sell you more stuff, right? That's, they're in business to sell stuff and make money. Not all fish stores. My local fish store, I've heard him talk people out of spending hundreds of dollars on stuff. You don't need that $100 heater. Just buy the $50 heater. It's fine. I would imagine there are local fish stores also out there that, you know, say, oh, if you're going to buy a quarry, one quarry, you know, maybe we should talk you out of it because they don't like one. You should buy at least three or six. Even my local PetSmart, there's a new uh, small animal manager, I think. Um, she's not new anymore. I guess she's been there a couple months. But I hear her almost ask everyone. She asked me the first time I was there. Um, you know, do I know about the cycle? How big of a tank I have? And at first I was offended, but then I was like, no, that's a good thing. I tell you, my local pet smart's pretty good. I I've had good luck there. Anyway, let's get back to little Johnny. So, little Johnny and little Johnny's dad, we'll call him Johnny Sr. Um, he, uh, they decide they're gonna find another local fish store. They do, they get back on track. And, I, and six months later, everything is fine. And little Johnny loves fish. Big Johnny's good with it. And we're fine. But this could have gone all kinds of sideways. Little Johnny could have been very disappointed. Big Johnny could have been disappointed. You don't want to spend any money. Boom, that tank goes in the corner, goes on Craigslist, goes on OfferUp. And we've lost two potential fish keepers in our hobby. Especially sad would be the loss of the young kid, right? We want young people in the hobby. All right, it did turn into a rant, sorry. But the moral or the point of this story is if you're new, we need information. If you're not new, ask for the right information and be nice. If you can't be nice, just keep scrolling. It doesn't hurt. If you feel a need to rant or be a jerk to someone, be a jerk on one of my posts because I'll give it right back to you. But don't do it to a newbie. That's not cool. So, if you're new and you need help, a couple pieces of information we need. Tank size, how long the tank's been set up, the ammonia level, the nitrite level, and the nitrate level. If you don't know what those last three things are, look up the nitrogen cycle. I could tell you about the nitrogen cycle, but that could take hours. Um, I guess a simple, simple way to explain it is fish eat, they poop and pee, that creates ammonia. That's harmful to fish. Eventually, there's good bacteria in your tank, <coughs> a beneficial bacteria colony, also called BB, that converts the ammonia to nitrite. Well, nitrite is also deadly to fish, even in small doses, so that there's different beneficial bacteria that um, takes that and converts it into nitrate. Now, nitrate in lower levels isn't harmful say under 40 parts per million. However, we still have to get rid of that nitrate as well as replenish essential minerals in the water and that's why we do water changes. So, basic, basic, but read up on it because there's a lot more, pretty much a lot more involved. If you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. If you're new and it's the first video you're watching of mine and you liked it, take a look at some other ones maybe even subscribe. It, it really helps out the channel. If you don't like it, let me know why. Post a comment below. Mike, I don't like this. You should have done this. Maybe I'll change it. Maybe I won't. Give me a thumbs up. Share it on your groups. Do what you need to do. But be nice and have a great day. And help people. 